Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve two-step equations. We have four example problems on your screen there that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now remember, when we have an equation with a variable, our goal is to isolate that variable or get it by itself in order to solve. And we also need to remember whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other side of the equation. We have to keep it balanced. So let's jump right into number one and solve some two-step equations. So for number one, we have 2x minus 6 equals 10. So again, we want to isolate that x, get it by itself. So I like to think of it as we need to reverse the order or undo this side of the equation so we get that x by itself. And we're going to use the reverse order of operations in order to do so. So we have 2 times that x and then we subtract a 6. So reverse order of operations, this subtraction of 6 needs to come first. So how do we get rid of that 6 from the left side? Well, we can add 6. That will cancel those 6's out or give us a 0. So remember, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So if we add 6 to the left, we need to add 6 to the right. A negative 6 or minus 6 plus 6 gives us that 0. And 10 plus 6 is 16. So on the left side, we're left with 2 times x, or 2x. So we don't have the variable completely isolated yet, but we're almost there. So we have 2 times x. So how do we get rid of that 2? We need to either make it a 0 or a 1. So the opposite of multiplying by 2 would be dividing by 2. That would give us 1x on that side, which is the same as just x. So let's divide both sides by 2. Um, and that leaves us with x equals 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now let's plug in that 8 into the original, original equation and see if we get the correct answer. So 2 times 8 minus 6 equals 10. It's always a good idea to see if that answer works out. 2 times 8 is 16. Minus 6 does give us that 10. So we have the correct answer, x equals 8. So for number 2, we have r divided by 5 plus 8 equals 11. So we need to get that r by itself. So let's do the reverse order of operations to undo the left side of the equation. So let's get rid of that 8 first. So we have plus 8. So the opposite, let's subtract 8 from both sides to begin to isolate the r. So a positive 8 and a negative 8 there, minus 8, gives us 0. And 11 minus 8 gives us 3. So on the left side, we're left with r divided by 5. So let's get rid of the 5 from the left side. What's the opposite of divided by 5? Dividing by 5. Well, multiplying by 5. So let's multiply both sides by 5, by 5, by 5. And we get r equals well, 3 times 5 is 15. We isolated the variable, and it equals 15. So on the left-hand side, I just want to mention, we had r divided by 5, that last step, and we times by 5, which would technically give us r over 1, or r divided by 1, which is just r. This is isolating the variable right here if you get to multiplying that variable by 1 or dividing that variable by 1. So let's plug in that 15 and see if we get the correct answer here. So I'm running out of room a little bit. I'll fit it in here. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. Bring down our 8. And we end up with 3 plus 8, which gives us the 11 we wanted. 
So let's go over to number three here, where we have seven equals 16 minus three e. So the equation looks a little different than numbers one and two. We have the variable on the right hand side, but it's the same exact thing that we did for numbers one and two. So we need to isolate that e. So undo that right side of the problem. So let's get rid of the 16 first. So we have a positive 16 on the right hand side. So the opposite would be subtracting 16 in order to get rid of it. Let's do minus 16 on the left hand side as well. So 16 minus 16 gives us that zero. Seven minus 16 gives us a negative nine. We're left with negative three E on the right side. So that's multiplication. So we need to do the opposite of multiplication in order to get the E by itself. So let's divide both sides by negative three. Negative nine divided by negative three gives us a positive three. And we're left with E over one, which is the same thing as just E. We isolated the variable. So E equals three. Let's plug it back in and see if that works. Three times three is nine. Bring down our 16. 16 minus nine does give us that seven that we are looking for um, on the left hand side of that equation. So we were correct, E equals three. And lastly, number four. So we have some parentheses in this one and we need to get y by itself or isolate the variable y. So we have two times parentheses y minus eight and parentheses equals 24. So we need to do the opposite. Remember, we need to undo that side, the left hand side of the equation. And we're going to actually divide both sides by two to um, undo that two that is outside of the parentheses. So two divided by two is one. That gives us one outside of the parentheses there, which is just going to leave us with y minus eight, because anything times one is just that um, number or uh, expression itself. So we just have y minus eight. And then 24 divided by two is 12. So now we have y minus eight equals 12. So we need to get rid of that minus eight. Undo that part of the left hand side of the equation in order to isolate the y. So we need to add eight to both sides in order to isolate the y. So a minus eight and a plus eight gives us a zero, those cancel out. So we're left with y and 12 plus eight gives us 20. So y equals 20. Let's plug it back into the equation to see if this gives us the answer 24 that we're looking for. 20 minus eight is 12. Bring down the two outside of the parentheses, which means multiplication, and two times 12 does give us that 24 that we wanted. So there you have it. There's how you solve two-step equations. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.